This is a Hannah's Instruments HI99121 direct stick soil pH meter. Very accurate. Had it tested by the University of New Hampshire. Um, the reading that you receive on this is the same reading as if you get from your soil lab. And um, it comes in a kit, as we can see here. Here's our meter. We'll come with a probe, and the probe is glass. And we make it out of glass on purpose so it is extremely accurate, fast responding, but you got to be careful, it is fragile. It has a nice glass probe. The first thing we've got to do when we, before we use it is to calibrate it. And this is a self calibrating. What we have to do is get it onto the calibration mode and then follow the screen what it says. So to get into calibration mode, I am going to push the on off button once to get it on. Okay, we'll go through the screen, which will read something like that, 6.4. Now to get into the, now I'm on the on mode. To get into the calibration mode, I am going to depress that same on-off button until CAL pops up. I will go past off. Okay, so it's depressed, and there's calibration. Now I am going to do what it tells me to do. It says use 7.0. So I am going to... Just put my meter down here, and I'm going to put it in 701 solution. See? I'm going to swirl it around a little bit. The REC means that it has recognized the 701. There is a flashing calibrated symbol on the lower right hand of the corner of the screen. That means that it's actually calibrating itself now to this standard. This is a standard 701 solution, and it is calibrating to that standard. First off, it might take 30 seconds or so, but as the, uh, the meter stays in calibration, it will, I'm just going to rinse it off, and a little bit of water I have in the bottom, which is tap water, and then it's going to say, whoop, okay, it's going to say use 401, now I put it in 401, it recognized that. I could use a 10, it would recognize a 10.01 if you wanted to, but in agriculture we use the 7.4 two-point calibration, makes it very accurate. All right, now I'm okay, if you can read it, it says okay two points. I am just going to then rinse it off with a little bit of clean water. Now to take a soil sample, or to take my pH in the soil, we have this lovely plant, a house plant. It's been in the office. Because my probe is fragile, I'm going to take our little dibbler stick that comes in the kit, make a pre-drilled hole, and then just insert my meter into that hole. Whatever the green tip is touching will read. So now my reading is 5.18, so it's close to, if you want to round that off, 5.2 pH. Now to store the probe, I'm going to take it out of the soil. I'm going to rinse it off. And comes in the kit is this cap. We have a nice little cap. I'm going to take one of my buffer solutions, doesn't matter if it's the 7 or the 4. Put a couple drops. Don't need much. Store the cap. Now I'm good for quite a while. I can turn it off. And it also has an automatic five minute turn off. And I'm done.